So we have two guitars here, both made by Epiphone. And the common denominator is they are both slash uh, signature models. So as you can see there, on the truss rod cover, it says slash, if you can't read it. So Epiphone Les Paul, Epiphone Les Paul with the old fashioned tuners. Uh, the guitars are a little different. I'll play both of them in a moment, but the uh, 50s gold top, this is the Slash Victoria. Let's just uh, flip this around and uh, we'll see the back, nice brown uh, back to it as opposed to the red back. Okay, so they both come with this uh, standard um, Slash case here, black, plain black case. It's actually nice, high quality. It's, as far as I can tell, it's the same case you get pretty close as what comes in the, uh, or comes with the Les Paul standard by Gibson, but some cases are cheap. I have this uh, case right here that uh, my 59, let me just show this quick. Here's the 59 reissue, okay. 59 reissue comes with this brown case with the pink and this case does feel kind of cheap. The slash case seems pretty pretty uh, pretty durable. So yeah, you have the gold top which is the slash Victoria and then you have like the flame considered a flame maple top it's uh, you know yellow wood grain yellow lemon maybe uh, this is the appetite for destruction model so on the left slash custom epiphone appetite for destruction on the right the victoria gibson has just put out a new slash custom guitar called the jessica but let's play uh, these two and see how they sound Okay, so I'm going to play the same thing on both of them. First, clean tone on the appetite. technical difficulties here. with the switch for the uh, bridge pickup. Okay, let's hear how some distortion sounds. If I can kick it on here.
let's hear the uh, okay. Let's uh, hear the gold top. Okay, one thing I noticed right away, the Appetite for Destruction model, that the pickups in that are hot. They are significantly louder, I think, than any other guitar I have. So, yeah, this is quieter as soon as I plug it in. Here's the bridge. Distortion. Okay, so one thing I would say, the neck on this gold top is a little beefier. Not bad. It's not like a baseball bat. It's not a real thick neck, but I would say the neck on this feels a little bigger. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of on the fence about it, which one's better. Uh, I think the appetite probably sounds better. But I'm thinking the gold top plays better, but one does not blow me away more than the other. So there you go. Slash Custom Epiphones, the gold top known as Victoria. And then, of course, you have the uh, that thing known as what? The Appetite for Destruction. Thanks for watching.